Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. I cannot believe it's December 31st. The year is over, guys. It is New Year's Eve. What a crazy year it has been. Um, and what better way to finish off the year with my 150th video. I can't believe it. 150 videos in 10 months. It's crazy. I would have never thought, but look where we are. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm very excited to start a whole new year and see what's coming and hopefully, you know, hit another 50,000 and hit that 100K within the next, hopefully sooner than 10 months, but you never know, right? So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it, guys. Um, I think that's it. I don't have much to say um, other than I hope you all have a safe New Year's Eve. If you're planning on going out and having fun and partying, please be safe. Don't drink and drive. You guys all know the drill. We're all adults here, right? So I hope you guys have a fantastic time. And if you're chilling at home like I am, with the kids and the dog and the hubby, then, you know, pull up those pajamas and, you know, grab a cup of coffee or a hot chocolate and just kind of hang out at home. That's what we do. And we watch the ball drop on TV. So whatever you decide to do, have fun and be safe. Okay. All right. So we're going to get started and I'll show you guys what I'm up to and it'll be the last set of colors. So let's see, we've done the, I haven't done reds because you know, I might do reds, but we've done orange and yellow. I'm gonna do green tonight. I've done the blues, I've done the purples, and I've done pinks. So tonight is all about green. Let me bring you guys down on the canvas and I'll show you guys what I'm up to. Okay, I'm back. And before I get started, I wanted to show you guys my yellow and orange diptych. It is pretty much dry. Um, I think this one is fully dry and this has a little bit of a wet spot just right here. Other than that, it's fully dry and I wanted to show you guys how it dried. Now it doesn't have any varnish on it yet, but I'm hoping you can see the metallic in there because one of, I had the iridescent, the iridescent from Pebeo in there, but look how cool that is and let me bring you up the other one this one's almost dry almost almost Let's see if i there it is there's the shine i'm looking for there is the metallic i love it and once this gets a coat or two actually gets two coats of gloss varnish it is going to be amazing here let me see if i can get the shine on this one this way so yeah wherever you see the dark orange that is where it shines. So I'm very excited about how these dried. Um, and they are available for purchase. The only pieces, what do I have left? The pink triptych is still for sale and the blue triptych and now the yellows. Everything else has sold. The gold, the purple is sold. So if you want this yellow piece or the pink or the blue or even this green one I'm about to make, you guys know where to find me. You guys know how to email me. And the email is in the description below. So I'm gonna move these. I'm gonna get the white on my canvases under here and then I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back again. I have gone ahead and flooded all three of my canvases, which by the way, are all size nine by 12. And <laughs> what, a, I just touched the canvas. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, nine by 12, nine by 12, and nine by 12, all right? So that is the size of these canvases. I've already flooded them with my white, which is my Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White paint, Floetrol, and water. And you can find that ratio mixing recipe on video number 63. I'll link it up at the top. That is how I mix all my colors, all my whites, every color I have, that's how I mix it. So I'm just gonna pop the bubbles here. And while I'm doing that, I wanna say a huge thank you to Ashley, Wilhelmina, Donna, for your grateful and generous, very, I'm very grateful for your generous PayPal donations. 
Um, it is very, very kind of you guys, and I can't thank you enough. Um, don't forget, guys, please make sure your canvases are level. I cannot stress how important it is to check your canvases and make sure they are level. Um, when I pour mine, this is where I leave it. I walk away, I leave it for a couple of days until I can move it. I don't move it after I pour just because I don't want to ruin the composition, so I don't do it. I leave it. All right, we have our white. I've popped the bubbles. Let's get to the colors. We are using Thalo Green by uh, Academy, or so Grumbacher. And then I have Cadmium Green Hue by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And then I have an Iridescent Green Yellow. Look at the shimmer on that. This one will be cool. And that's also by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And the last color I'm using is Metallic Leaf Green by Artist Loft. I don't have it in a bottle, so I had to mix some in my little Dixie cup. So hopefully that's enough. And those are the four colors I'm using and I'm gonna get started. A lot of people have been saying, oh, you should have added a contrasting color you know, um, the point of this whole experiment for me in this whole series of colors is to pick one color and go with that one color and pick different shades of that color. So that is why I'm not adding contrasting colors, uh, you know, like a gold or a copper or anything like that. I just want to see what it will look like if I choose one color and then just add a bunch of shades of that color. Now, okay, in the yellow and the orange, I added two colors together, but that's only because yellow is very hard to, you know, pick different shades of yellow. Like, I mean, there's a dark yellow and a light yellow. I don't know how many more yellows you could possibly have, but that's why I added the orange. But for greens and blues and the pinks and the purples, we all know how many shades of blue I have, right? <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna do phthalo green last. And so let's add the iridescent. And I'm really, really in, you know, happy with the results of uh, not flooding, um, add some more right here, of not flooding the white. I'm very, very happy with how it's panning out. And I don't think I'm ever gonna flood my canvases again, to be quite honest with you. I'm really happy with the way it's going and how vibrant and rich the colors are drying, drying. So I'm not, I'm not gonna be flooding anymore. So, all right, let's pop the bubbles. Okay, let's blow her out. And you know what? I don't even have my hair dryer plugged in because I have my heat gun plugged in because I've been working on resining my 100 tiles coasters that I'm working on and I had my heat gun plugged in. All right, I've got the hair dryer plugged in. Let's do this and see what happens with the greens. Let's go. Mm, let's go. <laughs> I always contemplate which way I wanna blow, but let's go. Okay, so I totally second guessed myself and as I was blowing, I totally changed direction and kind of mucked that up. So like that is a big boo-boo. I don't like that. Um, there's no white at all in here and I can't understand why that happened. So I'm gonna blow a little this way. I love the colors. I don't like the way I blew it out. I'm not happy with it. I cannot believe it. And I have a feeling this is gonna get scraped just like the pink one did. 
I don't know what happened when I was blowing. I was not thinking straight. I don't know what I did. I don't know why I did that. There's absolutely no white in here. This is a mess. This is probably the only good one and I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with any of it. So problem is, do I have enough metallic green to do that again? Probably not. I don't know if I can fix this. Uh, let's see. I don't know. See, now I'm just playing with it because I know I'm going to scrape it because I'm just not happy with that at all, at all, at all. So you guys, um, out of all the canvases I did, I scraped the pink one only, and now it's going to be the green one too, unfortunately. So take one last look because it's about to go bye-bye. Unfortunately, um, I hate doing it because it really is a waste of paint. However, if I don't like it, it's got to go because then I'm just not going to be happy with it. I'm not going to be happy selling it. I'm just not going to be happy. So it's got to go. I don't know why I blew the hair dryer the way I did that. Um, you know, I get nervous and you know i hope it blows out properly and then it doesn't and i've ruined it so all right i'll be back i'm gonna reflood the canvases and i'll be right back guys hey guys um i've got some bad news um after i scraped the canvas i reflooded it and I hit the record button and started to record my second attempt. And when I was done, I went to check the playback and there was nothing there. There was voice, I could hear myself, I could hear myself blowing with the blow dryer and all I saw was white screen. So I have no idea what happened. I really don't know what happened. This has never happened before. Um, I had no idea something was wrong. So unfortunately, I do not have the second half of the video to show you guys how the second attempt um, worked out. And I'm completely bummed because this is not how I wanted the last video of the year to work out. So I don't know what to say. If anyone knows why this happened, please enlighten me because... I, I just don't understand what happened. The volume is there. I can hear the whole video, but there's nothing but a white screen. So I, I don't know what happened. Um, so it really, really sucks. I'm so bummed, so bummed. Um, I guess the only thing I can do is just show you guys the final result because there's no second half of the video. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you guys what the triptych looks like. All right, guys, so here is the final result. I really wish you could have seen me do this because even with the second attempt, um, you know, it did take a lot of work. Um, I ended up scraping the corner here so that I can have some negative space. Um, I do like the um, dark green cells there. I do like how it shimmers. I don't know if you can see that right there. The shimmer that is from the iridescent Pebeo. Um, and this is the center one. So this one turned out really cool as well. Oh, I'm so bummed, you have no idea. And then this is the last one on the end, which actually was the other way around. And I flipped it 180 degrees because I wanted this to match with that um, because that was on that side and it definitely didn't match with this side. So I actually flipped it and it looks perfect. And then I torched just this bottom part here so that I can get the green cells to come out on the white. And then I scraped the corner again so that I can have negative white space. 
So this is what it looks like. I'm so sorry that you did not get to see me do that. I really can't understand what happened there. But this is, this is the final piece. Um, and if you're interested in purchasing it, feel free to email me. My email is below. It is my final video and my final piece of 2019. It'll be the last piece I sign on the back with the year 2019. And then we're off to the new year and new beginnings for 2020. Um, I guess that's it. Just everybody, if you're new watching, please hit that subscription button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. All my social media links are listed below in the description box and uh, my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate. I'd really appreciate it. And Juno, don't forget Juno. Um, his link is also listed below or just search Juno the Husky and you will find him. Please subscribe to his channel. I would love to see it grow. And that's it guys. I hope you all have a happy new year. Please be safe out there tonight. Don't drink and drive. Have a great time. And that is it for me for 2019, guys. All the best. I really do wish you all the best. Take care. Have a good night. And I will see you guys next year. Bye.